The World Skills Africa 2022 officially kicks off in Sokob Moon tomorrow. We, of course, have managed to get the project manager for the World Skills Africa, Mr. Seth Sholongo, back on the line. Very good afternoon, Mr. Sholongo, and thank you so much for making the time to join us. Yes, good morning. How are preparations for the big continental event going? Are we all set? Yes, uh, up to this point, I can confirm that we are on point with all the preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, we had some activities that uh, were more of side activities, uh, reception, dinner for all the participants, which was presented by um, an excursion just for the visitors also to feel Namibia, where we treated them to some activities including um, boat rides, uh, quad biking. So I would say all the participants um, are very much um, happy. But back to the main event, because as you know, the, 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 the main program starts uh, tomorrow, mm -hmm. where in the morning we're going to have a program where we are going to pay all participating countries with uh, local schools in the Rongo region. That event will be officiated by the World Skills International President, uh, Mr. Chris Humphreys. Uh, then that will be followed by the opening ceremony, which is taking place later in the afternoon. The opening ceremony will be officiated by the Vice President, uh, His Excellency Dr. Nangoro Mbuba. Uh, uh, there will also be speeches by a number of our international partners as well as the World Skills uh, President. This is basically the main official event that precedes the competition where all the countries participating will be paraded uh, and where the competitors and experts alike will take an oath to just assure the entire continent and the world that they will be competing in a fair manner and the judges that they will be judging the competition also fairly and to the best of their integrity. That's uh, that same morning, mm -hmm. we are also going to have what we call a ministerial inspection. This is where our line minister of higher education training and technology Dr. Kanji Murangi comes in. He will be, she will be accompanied by the World Kids International President, the African Union Commissioner, uh, to just take a tour of the venue to see the setting up and to affirm indeed the team have prepared the event and that the event will be a success. That will happen in the morning around from 10 o'clock, then it will end into a brief uh, press conference where all media are invited to ask questions uh, regarding the progressing, I mean, the, the, the competition and so forth. Certainly sounds like you're prepared. Now, this year's theme is promoting skills development in the 21st century for sustainable economic growth and African ownership. Now, briefly talk to us about the motivation around the selection of this theme. Yeah, C can you repeat that question? You're, you were a bit far from the mic, I could hardly hear you. Right. I was making reference to this year's specific theme. I just wanted you to talk to us about the motivation around the selection of the theme. Yes. Uh, the, the, the theme is selected to fit in with the current happenings in, in Tibet. As we know, all the countries, all the economies and industries are emerging from the covid and definitely every sector has to be prepared to emerge and 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 continue to be fully functional. And Tibet definitely has chosen those topics and under that theme to make sure that uh, we recover from COVID and we continue to promote technology and skills excellence uh, in the continent. Now, also... Of course, Namibia hosting an event of this nature is a massive achievement. But from, from your perspective, what do you feel Namibia should take away from the experience of hosting this event? Now, that's a very good question. Um, 
You know, an event of this nature brings quite a number of benefits, not only to Namibia as a country, but right from uh, individual level, institutional level, the continent at large, of course, and these uh, benefits can also be observed at inter- I mean, continental level. If you look the number of competitors uh, we have, we have a competitor in all of the every 16 skills area of the competition. They are exposed to best practices there because they are now competing with their counterparts on the continent. If you look at the experts that are mentoring these competitors, who basically are our instructors in the TV sector, the technical knowledge they are gaining, not only from their peers in Africa, also from the fact that uh, we have a number of international experts who we are calling ex- uh, chief experts that are looking after every skill area. And there is a program that started already in 2019 to capacitate the African experts so that uh, they are able to run their own system. So there is a lot of uh, experience being gained. Institutions also, because we have a lot of global, continental, and local partners here, and industry representatives that are networking and creating collaboration opportunities with training institutions here locally. To talk, for example, our competitors that are competing at this competition, we represent Namibia at the national, at the international stage later in September in Shanghai, China. As we speak, we have already entered collaboration with the with South Korea, where we will be sending, for example, all our competitors there to train uh, at a very higher tech institution in South Korea. They are in preparation for the Shanghai trip. So it's a lot of collaboration, networking opportunities that will not only benefit Namibia as a country, but our industry, because we need to find ways to to raise the standards of our training to raise our industrial level Mm -hmm. so that we can create job employment we can achieve uh, value addition as a country and so forth so this platform really presents that opportune opportunity for all collaborators starting from government Mm -hmm. all the stakeholders to collaborate and definitely to improve the standards of the country that is absolutely fantastic to hear. Mr. Shalongo, thank you so much once again for taking the time to speak to us, and we wish you and your team all the best for the upcoming week. Thank you very much for having me.